the scoreboard. 86 points per game, third best in the country this year. And they will shoot a lot of threes and crash the boards. And uh, the entire program really have done a terrific job, Renee, of making sure everything meshes and the chemistry has been right. It may have been, and as you can see now, both teams going a lot of up and down. There you get a bucket right there from their national championship, a win over Notre Dame in the final in 2012. And that team stacked. Sydney Colson, Sydney Carter. A lot of Kenyan pride, and uh, she averages a double-double for them, so does it all. It is end-to-end -end action right now until, uh, you know, we develop the culture we want, we learn how to win, and... Uh, Six consecutive seasons. Their first round games today for Wright State. The biggest upset in the tournament in nearly a decade. As the Good follow right there. Putback is up and in. You follow it up on the office of end, and that's Karenga now with four rebounds already early in this first. They are getting it up, and like I said, this pace play... Three-pointer is good. Kayla Wells, she's the best three-point shooter in school history by percentage. And look at that. Quick to counter for Troy. Janias Sandifer, 39% on the season. Oh, Over beautiful pass. Career triples. Nice dish and the lay-in. And Kayla Wells has been aggressive, taking a couple layups, some jump shots. And they do tie it up. Going to catch your breath over there on the bench. Destiny Pitts has come on. Beth Mullins and Renee Montgomery with you. The game is in Austin, Texas. It's first round action, pulling off the upsets to move on to the second round. Yeah, and on that last play, Jordan Nixon knocks in a three. J. Rob gets the ball up the court so fast. This is the pace that we're going to see all night long. It makes another shot, six points, four rebounds already. Really nice face up for her, and then the three for Destiny Pitt in the national semis. They went on to win the championship. What a reward! Mm. That was back in the days of the three Meeks. And here's the Off thing: the steal. This is what they call that's J. Rob right there with the little little bunny. The score for for Troy, they can score as a top team in the nation. And right now, the longer they hang along, hang around, the more confidence they gain. Sometimes just figuring out where the shots are in the zone. J-Rob, the easy shot is to take a deep three, but that may not be the best shot as a block there. Final minute of this first quarter. Turn okay. Karanga, tough shot on the baseline. Want to break the new record. They want to make history, so they welcome this challenge in A&M. And A&M looks like they're ready. And, and it looks like Troy's going under a lot of those screens. So, again, A&M will be able to get any jump shot they want. And Troy is going to let it fly. 131 points on them. They had six double-figure scores. It's one of four games this year where they dropped a hunch. Nice bounce yeah. there. I think that this is chaotic. This is how Troy wants the game to go. This is how they do. They speed up plays, cause a missed layup. This is what they want. Obviously, they want, want to finish with the rebound. These games now in a sense of this is kind of when the, the madness happens. We didn't have any madness yesterday, but I'm looking <laughs> for a little bit of madness today. So saying m has not committed a foul yet in the game. Johnson trying to take advantage of the size inside, and she could be in for a big night. Looking to get Jones a touch. She goes to the left side and scoops it up and in. Pull up is good. Seven of the eight that have gotten on the floor have scored for the Aggies. Oh, Ooh, good, good move. move. And right there on that last one, Jordan Nixon, she knows that Troy is going under the screen, so she's coming off ready. Count the basket! I see you! The sounds Troy's of the court. Starting. Yeah, Troy's trying to manage some minutes here. I think they have their top three players on the bench right now. a &M is taking advantage. It's a double-digit lead now. And beautiful and drive down the there. Yeah, the, the threes are off. Good second chance basket. What they have been doing is rebounding those misses and getting put back, getting fouls, getting extra possessions, and Wilson is just going about her business and scoring in the paint. 
Morris, the transfer from Rutgers. Back to back for Alexis Dye, almost the exact same play. 10 rebounds per game for her, fourth best in the Southeastern Conference. Johnson, too much muscle on the block. Now everyone's in shape, but March Madness, the adrenaline, all the excitement, sometimes that takes it out of you. Good look from three, and Jordan Nixon knocks it down. <laughs> you stroking it. <laughs> Joins Jones in double digits. They now have their largest lead of the day, and Troy takes a nip out of that. Unbelievable. So just we talk about that pace and we talk about how fast of this pace Troy has A&M playing way out of their norm. Is that going to affect Troy or are they just going to go out swinging in a sense of they're just going to play hard and whatever happens, happens. It's looking like they're just going to play hard and see what happens. Look at the hustle on the glass on the offensive boards. They've got 10 in the game and they forced another turnover with their pressure. Four on two, and they'll knock down out. the mid-range. 6-0 run. And Sierra Johnson says, let me try and settle us down here, and gets the bucket down low. And and that matchup, Sierra Johnson against Karanga, that was, goodness, don't blink. There goes that six-second scoring. Where the next defender's coming from. Johnson wow. has her shot blocked inside by Dye. And then a wide open layup for Wells. Like just how they play, they play very hard. Couldn't take advantage of the second chance and Wells with the leak out the other way. That's the drill they practice every yeah. single day. So this is normal for them. It might seem fast to us. It's normal for them. <laughs> oh, and they finally knocked down a three. Their first ever tournament win with an upset of Arkansas. The biggest upset in a decade in the NCAA tournament. And now here comes Troy. And that is a, a 9 run. Point deficit down to five. First shot available. We know that because that's just their pace. Texas A&M needs to take the best shot available. And that's and the best shot right Johnson there. And they do get Johnson a touch, and there's the end of the drought. Bounce pass inside, Sierra Johnson got it. She's been unstoppable down low. Asking her to lead, and she's responded. Open look for three, got it. Here's our game summary. A 15 seed trying to beat a two seed for the first time Woo! ever. Alexis Die has been a big handful for Troy. Don't look now. Woo! Oh my Shot on goodness. and the wraparound is up and in. And whenever A&M has struggled to score, they've always went to Sierra Johnson. She's not in the game right now, so who is going to be that player that settles them Come in? And, 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 one. and a chance for Troy to tie the game. It's that chip on their shoulder. She said, even if we aren't the underdog in some games, we still act like we are and feel like we are, as Wilson has a big shot right there to settle things down. And the question is, how long can you leave her sitting? She's been that hot hand. Bucket again for Aaliyah, back to back. She's got 10. Robinson for three, that won't go. The putback is up and in. Johnson misses, and again, a chance for Troy to tie things up. Oh, good find. Looking for the three, corner, got it! And the Trojans have come all the way back from 16 down, and they are even with AM. So seven to go, leading up to the media timeout, and then she'll be back in for the stretch Woo! run, and a rejection sent back by Karanga. She might have to go back to the bench now in case that there's something called. So here we go for Troy, a chance for the lead here in the fourth quarter, and they've got it. Karanga nice. making it hard on her. Pull up, got it. Jordan Nixon ties it back up. The mid-quarter timeout coming up shortly. Karanga faces up, step back, and knock it Karanga's down. Karanga's ready. Okay. From Kenya, she is putting on a show for us tonight. Off the bounce for the lay-in is Jordan Nixon. So when now you have to slow it down. Karanga, position by the kick out for three short. Long rebound, another opportunity. Look at and this. a third chance for Troy. That one goes to tie it up. And right here, they're milking that high pick and roll action. 
Troy is going under. Woo, beautiful moves right there by Nixon. And the spin. Jordan Nixon with the finish. Shanda Rigby, it wasn't going their way. And Nixon puts on the spin cycle right there to finish. Got to figure Karanga or die. And it will be die to tie it up. Smart because of the foul trouble. Off the bounce, into the lane for the land. Played a great game. It's not over yet, but just some tough calls at the end, just some tough breaks. Shot is up, and there's the buzzer, and Texas A&M survives 84 to 80.